What's up guys? Today we're doing some offshore fishing finally. We haven't been able to get offshore in a little bit um, and the waves have calmed down just for a short period of time so we're taking advantage of it and going fishing. It's like noon so we're the Kraken fishing team once again but that's okay. Uh, we don't have our accurate reels right now. They're in for service so we figured we just actually do like an exploratory trip today. Find out what's going on out there because we haven't been offshore in like two weeks and um, yeah see if we can find some bait and then uh, get a better game plan for our next trip which I believe will be tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah tomorrow next day it's yeah it's literally 1202 yes and uh, our friend's been out there fishing all day he hasn't caught nothing yet so uh, let's see what happens let's go get him. Now we came out here, we're about five, six miles out. Caught, picked up a couple of baits like you saw. And you know, it's nice and calm today. It's a beautiful day out here on the ocean. And so, you know, it's a great time for us to, you know, spread our wings a little bit and try and go out and see if we see any floating debris or anything from Mahi. It's really not much going on out here. But uh, just so you know what we do, you know, we just kind of we run for a little bit, maybe five or 10 minutes. The buoy. So Darcy sees a buoy and, uh, and then Darcy stands up and looks around. You know, check the current, the water temp. You know, just don't, we just don't like running a million miles an hour. Oh, that's a bird. Oh, that's a bird. <laughs> so we don't like running a million miles an hour just blindly. So sometimes you gotta stop and take a look around. Now I don't expect we're gonna see much out here today, but uh, you never know. But you never know. So uh, this is what you do. You know, we come out here, you look around. You know, because there's a lot of there's a lot of ocean out here. You don't know where the fish are, so you don't want to. We don't just like to be blind trolling baits around. We can uh, also see the great white shark, Catherine. Yes. She's a 14 foot. 200, 2,300 pounds. That's a great point, Catherine. Let's look that up on on the on the uh, on the tracker. on the phones right There's now. There's a live yeah. ocean uh, shark tracker. Four days ago, this this incredible fish was just a couple miles from here. Yes. On the tracker. So let's double check on that. Yeah. Should we do a circle? Should we do a circle? Whatever you want. How we start turning this way? Yeah. All right. Slow turn that way. All right, we're out here in 800 feet of water and we just had a big school of tunas next to the boat, blackfin tuna. They're nice sized footballs, but they're exploding out of the water. They're, I don't know what they're feeding on. I think like small fry, some really small fish, but they are just absolutely going insane, feeding like mad. And uh, we're gonna try and catch a couple trolling, hopefully. So they've got lines out way, way, way far back. And uh, hopefully, look, they're still busting. They're really close to us. So hopefully we can get one to bite one of our lures. If not, I think we're going to try a different method and chum them up and try to catch them that way. But they are everywhere out here in the deep water. Are you listening? <laughs> we're done with the tuna fishing. As you can see, we're now back in shore. And that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, that basically that didn't, didn't work. We tried a couple different methods. The ocean was full of blackfin tuna today, full of them. We saw, I must have saw like 30 or 40 fish, individual fish, jump out of the water, just aggressively feeding Crazy. on the surface, birds working, just the whole nine. And uh, they were feeding on, I believe, little tiny, tiny baits, like little fry, yeah, something little. along those lines. I have no idea what that's they were. That's always so out there. Um, but yeah, that's always all out there. Big school, these little tiny, I mean, microscopic, like almost microscopic baits. And so I think they were dialed in on the small baits and we didn't have really anything that size, you know, to actually troll. Right. Um, so they didn't want our, our tuna lures. They were a little too on the big side and they were dialed in on those little fish. So, right. um, well, let, me, let me just mention, yeah, I mean, all our, all our accurate reels, all our trolling gear, like 10 rods are, are getting serviced right reels now. Reels are so getting I, serviced. Yeah, so I didn't really have, we didn't really have any trolling equipment. Yeah. But I, was tr I tried to troll a blue and white Islander uh, lure and a little black kind of a feather, which is pretty standard for tunas. And that didn't work. We tried chunking them up, yes. and we also tried jigging, and we jigged on the wreck, yes. and didn't even see any fish on the wreck. So we were able to troll our lures within, you know, 50 feet of the jumping fish, and they could care less about our boat. Usually, you know, blackfin are very spooky, and right. they dive right down. But you know, they didn't want that. They wanted those little fish they were feeding on. But we tried. We really did. Like you said, we jigged for them. We uh, chummed up, tried to chum them up, tried right. the different methods. Right. The trolling didn't work. So now we are doing some trolling for snook in shore. We just had a monster hit the line, just scream for a couple seconds and then stop. So we lost that fish, but I don't know. I have a good feeling that we might catch a nice fish tonight. We got a so. decent tide. The, the, the light on, the light is beautiful as you can see from this uh, video. And uh, hopefully we're gonna catch a fish. Oh, it's smoking. He's not pulling any drag. Take this one in or? Um, I don't know. Let's see. 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 Let
on. Yeah. Switch. We got a snook. Snook on. Pretty sure it's a snook. But this is a good sign. The current's not really moving yet too much. So we're hoping in the next hour or so it's really going to pick up and we're hoping going to get a lot of action and a lot of bites. But this is a good sign. This is a good sign. No current. We got a snook. Can you keep it straight. Um, that one, we're good. We're past it. You can leave it out. Just keep the boat, um, the wheel front. back in gear. Just let us land this little fish first and then we'll put back in gear. Oh, you spit. Sizzle. Sorry. You gotta keep his head in the water. I was trying. No. Didn't work. He was barely hooked anyways. All right, let's get another. Next year, uh, next time we use the big net. Let's get another. Right. Good luck. Hold on. Uh, oh, we got a we got a snook. Go back, go back to the boat. Keep it tight. All right. So, uh, Silent Frank's got a snook on. Perfect. We're gonna catch it nice and smooth, Cap Captain. Get that bucket out here, mate. Get this bucket out of my way. Nice. Can you get that tension on there? Get in line. Yeah, yeah in plain line. Get in line. Get, she's using the old Acrid SR6 and the Hunter rod. How do you like that rod, Frank? Uh, great rod. Great, great rod. rod. Well, it's coming in. Nice job. Put the boat out of gear. Nice job. All right. Out of gear. It's too low. Out of gear. It's too low. Nice job. Woohoo! Nice little snooky. He inhaled it, didn't he? Oh, Ooh, let's man. see. Hold on. He's gonna Poor fishy. Looks like he inhaled it a little bit. We gotta do a little surgery, oh, maybe. Oh, man. We gotta work on this. Oh. All right, Brian got the hooks out of this guy. We gotta do a little bit of surgery on him, but he seems like he's gonna be okay. He's gonna make it. Oh, man. There's a little shrimp coming out of his mouth. How cool. Look at that. I'll show you the shrimp in one second, but I'm gonna drop him over the side over here and let him go. Bring it any lines or? Um, I think we're good. I think we're, uh, no, bring in the one next to me. All right, get on the fish on. I also need to show you what was in that first snook's mouth, which I'll show you in a little bit, but he spit out a little shrimp and something else cool. I think I still have this fish, I hope. Feels like it's now the lure, but he took a good smoke and run. Might be a jack. Uh, I lost it. Hold on. We'll find out right now. Or he's swimming towards me. One of the two is happening. Let's see. Coming close now. Oh, I do have a fish. I do have a fish. I think it's a nice jack. Alright, come up. Come up, fishy. Come up. Yeah, we got a jack. Okay. No, I don't know what was happening there. Sorry, I don't know. For a second I thought I had a fish and I didn't have a fish, but he got hooked on the end here. And the way this lure swims, it pulls a lot of drag. So I think this lure was swimming as he was coming in. So that was pretty funny. So that's why I thought I had a lure and not a fish. But first jack of the day. We actually haven't caught a lot of jacks in a while. So it's a nice sign. Different species. It's not a snook, but I'll take it. Nice fish. All right. Now we got to get a snook right before the sun goes down. It's going down right now. Look at this awesome sunset we've got today. Absolutely amazing. That's so, I mean, that's what I love about boating too. I love sunsets. Every day in Florida is a different awesome sunset. And this fish is coming in backwards. I thought we had something good. I wonder if it's another ribbon fish that I side hooked. <laughs> I side hooked something. Oh no, it's a catfish. Oh no. <laughs> this is exactly how this catfish got hooked and stabbed me the last time. And actually it was about a catfish this size but he got his barb right in my upper thigh. And to this very day, I, thought, I also said this in a lot of videos, I still have like some numbness in my leg. Do not like these things. I'm not touching them, and I'm gonna use some big old pliers and just break them off. I'll do it. Yeah, grab the thing. You, I'll trade you. Hi hey guys. Hey Watch Sizzle. Out. Watch out Sizzle. Watch Come out. Come on, he's gonna drop off and hit me. Come on. <laughs> You hooked? You better watch yourself. He's trying to get you. He's trying to get you. 
We totally missed trolling past the good boat too. Now we're going to turn around. Look at the water reflection. Sick. Sick. All right. Wrapping up our day. We're back at the dock and I think we had an overall good day, just pretty much just exploring, seeing what was out there. They got to see a whole bunch of blackfin tunas exploding, but you know, a lot of that stuff it's hard to capture on film, and, uh, but it was really, really cool to see in person. Fortunately, we didn't hook one of those fish, but whatever, that's fishing. But you know, we enjoyed a great day, so can't complain. We'll be back soon. I'm not sure if we're going to be doing some saltwater fishing or some bass fishing, but we'll figure it out, bringing some more exciting content. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for us. Subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of new videos every single week, um, so join the fun with us. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.